We're at Q Salvage today to check out the auction for Thursday night. Uh, so far I've started bidding on a faucet that has a motion sensor in it. So I'm here to see if it's new, all the parts are there, what have you. So let's go see. Today we came to the auction to check out this faucet to see if it's something I want to continue bidding on. Right now I have $15 on it and it ends tonight. So I'm going to go home and look up the information. It's sealed, so I'm pretty sure it probably works. Uh, I want to see if this comes out, the hose. And there's not a lot of information on the box itself, so I'm going to have to check on the website. At today's auction, let's see how many lots there are. There's 845 lots. I'm going to quickly run through and see if there's anything I missed while looking on the website and make a bid on it. Okay, here's where lot one starts. Then it goes around the outside edge of the room, up and down, snaking through the aisles until it ends on that side of the opening. So I'm going to just take photos of the things that I think are really interesting or that I might bid on. So here we go. place the smaller items in their display case in the lobby area probably to keep people from stealing it and that's the Thursday side and then this is the Tuesday side and they're working on getting Tuesday ready now and this is where you would go to check out after you purchase something at that window there. And then they'll check your ticket before you exit the door here on the day after the auction. Hey y'all, it's time to find out what I want at the auction. In one of my lots, I won this area rug set. There was three included. This one with like a dark gray with a white trellis design. That one's probably about an 8x10. Then this dark blue one, also an 8x10. And the small, lighter gray one on the bottom. That one's a 5x7. I also won that faucet that I was wanting, as you can see. And I won a purse. It's not really my style, but I said, mm, for the cost, why not? 
So let's get into it. Here is the invoice for the auction. As you can see, I paid 10 for the handbag, 25 for the faucet, and 30 for the rugs plus taxes. Because I'm not an official resale business, I have to pay the sales tax. So here's the faucet. I did a little bit of research on it, and it looked to be about 80 at the lowest end to $140 at the higher end for this style of faucet. This is supposed to pull down as a sprayer, and then you can see where the sensor is. And it was showing a, what do you call it, oil rub bronze faucet on the website. So I'm assuming that's the metal that we have. We'll see when we unbox it. All right, this purse, it says on the tag that it's genuine leather. It's from H&M and originally cost $129 to purchase. It has really long fringe on it. A nice strap with the whip stitching on the edging. I like that. No exterior pockets. You open the flap here and we'll see what's inside. I haven't even looked. Just a bunch of stuffing. Lots and lots of stuffing. Oh, there we go. All right, so take a peek inside. And there's a zipper section and just open other than that as you can see nothing too fancy i want to try to sell this and if i'm unable to sell it then i'll just carry it because i have a few outfits that have like that boho chic look to them so no big deal now these rugs oh my goodness they are so soft I've already decided I'm going to put the big blue one in my son's room. And this one may or may not go in my room. I'm not sure yet. And then the lighter gray one might go in the living room if this darker gray one doesn't. All right. I want to cut open this box so I can see what color of faucet I have. All right. Moment of truth. What do we have? Yep, it looks like Aura Bronze. Yep, there we go. That's what it is. Got a warranty card. Installation mail. This is the electrical hub thing. I want to be gentle because I don't want to mar it. You can see it's inside this little bag. One more. Okay, I took it out of the little protective bag. And this is what we have. Here's the sensor. Can you turn it on and off up here? Then this piece here will screw into the end here. And that's this hose, the black hose. Then these are your supply lines. And this is your sensor line. It looks like a pretty basic, straightforward installation. I'm going to actually be using this one in my kitchen because I've always wanted one with a sensor. I was hoping for brushed nickel because... Everything else in my kitchen was brushed nickel with stainless steel appliances, but it'll be okay because I really, really want this sensor because I hate touching the faucet handle when I'm prepping, especially meats, because I worry that I'm spreading it everywhere. So this way I can just easily wash my hands without the fear of contamination. So I'm looking forward to installing this, and when I do... I will probably make a video for you guys because I'm in the process of renovating my home right now 
So everything is a disaster. And that's why I'm not putting the rugs down yet because I have to clean up. It's going to get really dusty and crazy in here over the next two months. So be looking out for that content. Thanks for watching. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Bye.